Hello everyone and welcome back to Trash Gamers. I'm Howell. And I'm Izzy. And we're back in Twilight Princess, going to work our way through this dungeon some more. Yeah. Yep. We're in the East Hall of the Palace of Twilight. We're going to work our way to this next Zant Hand. I see a locked door, so that means... Oh, there's a Shadow Beast. Hello. Right. Bitch. <laughs> Shoot him in the air. Oh, that does hit him. The question would be, do you have to kill all of them at the same time, like usual logic, or does it not matter? It probably still matters, because they can still... I guess you'll see when you kill one of them if it actually explodes or not, huh? Yeah. I'm waiting on the other. All right, there's always at least three, right? Ah, oh, you touched it. <laughs> it's okay. Yep, there's more. But that means there's just three. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was close. I see that. Oh, yeah, those things. They still actually count as part of the enemy amount. There's a head in there somewhere. Yep. I saw it. I think it's still here, back too. Why it's turning into him? Because he's going to kill me. Can't Wolfling kill the mask? Oh yeah, you're right. If you senses, yeah, you can see through all that shit. Takes a while, I remember, but it can be done. Right. Because you can't even get a final hit on him. That nice critical. But it looks like if you're fast enough, he can't even get to you, though. Where'd he go? Oh. Nicely done. Who's still left? Oh, there's another one. There's two Zant heads. Mm -hmm. One's in the fog, one's one was outside. Oh no! Oh no, no, no. <laughs> it says Midness Charged Attack is the quickest way to do it. That? Yep. Oh, it looks like you one hit them if you do that. But you got knock and hit too. Oh, that didn't one hit it, but it stunned it real quick. Nice. One more still. There it is. Nicely done. Alright. Do we get the key now? Yes. What's it doing right there? All right. So there's the locked door. All right. And how much is this one going to suck? Uh, we don't have the key yet. It's up to the left, I think. Up. Use claw shot. Yeah, it's like to the left. I think it's up there, to the left. Down. Yeah, I think it's, you'd have to get one of those targets. I couldn't reach it from there. Yeah, I know. If it'll let you. Might do the bottom one to the right. Yeah. Well, there's a pot. But now you can reach the ceiling, though. There are a lot of treasure chests in this room. And now you can kind of double claw shot around the room as much as you want. <laughs> Looks like there are four or five chests in here, which is crazy. <clears throat> so this room is probably going to suck. As, um... Okay, so there's a big chest. This room is probably going to suck doing backwards. You know what? Mm hmm. Good job. Okay. There is still one more big chest in this room, I'll tell you that. Do oh, I there it is. It? It'd be nice. Yeah. 
It's so finicky. It's not like, um... Uh, there's some Zelda games, I think, where it, like, locks on... It, like, pulls the cursor toward the thing a little bit easier. Which is nice. Yeah. Not this one, though. Alright, so you got the map. Good job. Now we can go on to the next door. Okay. Uh, you might have to look to the left. Oh, there you go. Nicely done. And I think the next room is the hand room. <laughs> so finicky. We nope. There you go. Alright, we got this. We got this. You got this. Mm hmm. Because that was your fear. You were afraid that I was going to make you do this. I was a little bit. I mean, this is all the harder hand, though, so. We will see. You did it on easy mode. This is the <laughs> this is the regular mode. We'll find out. Yeah. All right. First, you get to have some fun with Phantom Zant again. I love the little holographic in this game, like like a Star Wars hologram. Yeah. That's a fun way to do the design, especially given how blocky the aesthetics are for this game. Like they make the Twilight look almost digital. Yeah. Or Matrixy almost, you know. It reminds me of like when Digimon had to spawn between this you know, their world and the uh, human world. You fucking <laughs> bitch. Right. Yeah, you need to stay out of their way, not in their way. Why don't you go back to Mario? Teleport. There you go. Whale on his ass. Alright. Where's he gonna be? Where's he gonna be? He's being a bit obnoxious. There he goes. I. Uh, you were half a second too late. There you go. Finish him. Well, I guess almost finish them. Because you gotta do three combos, I think. Goodbye, Shadow Beasties. Aw. Uh, it's like you need to get them to start attacking and then you can go crazy on them. There you go. Nicely done. Bitch. Hells yeah. Awesome. There's a lovely bit of fog. Alright, so let me read through what you're supposed to do in this room. Uh, you'll slash at it like before, pick it up towards the center of the room, place the soul in the center like last time, staircase like last time, uh, climb the stairs, use the claw shot, head through the door. So exact same as last time. The monsters that attack you before the door might be a little harder. But I don't think there's much of a difference. Looks like the stairs are a little bit less straightforward, too. One, two, three. Nicely done. Though I don't think the stunning holds when you go through the room, though. That's okay. I got that much. Yeah, but it's nice being able to do that, though, right? Yep. Alright, run to the center of the room and drop the soul in the hole. The hand will appear, Shadow Beast will appear, uh, it says defeat them, if you so choose. Stun the Wall Master. Um, you... I'll wait until you mess with that stuff first, I guess. 
Well, I got to the center yeah. quicker. Yeah, you did. Fuck! Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Okay, you did that. Uh, so it does recommend stunning him. Uh, you possibly want to kill them first. But that's up to you, really. Where's okay. he at? I don't know. It's a good question, though. He would be behind you. I think he's coming up over that wall behind you. No, he's not. So, he's not anywhere. Okay. Um, let's see what it says. Use the claw shot targets along the north wall and claw to the ceiling. Here he comes. I can sense it. I'm telling you, he's not... Okay. I mean, he's coming, yes, but I don't know where he's coming from. You keep saying behind me, I just. but there's nothing I behind just... me. There's wall. There's wall behind me. There he is. There he is. All right. Yo, Waluigi. Oh, he's confused. He doesn't exactly know where it is because it's a maze. Okay, it does say claw shot. Along the north wall, claw to the ceiling. Because you're too low, remember? So where? Back toward the door, where you came in from. Oh, he's not stunned anymore. So that tells you how long he's stunned for, roughly. Okay, so back over here. Yep. Claw shot. Yep. And then do it again. To the right. Up. You might be able to get that first one. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to get on the steps. What's that? These? Yes. I don't know how. I don't know how either. He does not look stunned anymore, but he also looks incompetent. <laughs> lower yourself, maybe? Yeah, lower yourself or drop down. You're on the steps. I think. I'm trying to figure out how to move. Yeah. Um, climb the steps to the south end of the room and then use the claw shot. So um, to the left, yep, go just follow the stairs. And then up here, now use the claw shot on the thing. Stun him if you can. Yep. Now claw shot that bitch. You might have to move forward an inch or two. Yeah, you got this. Um, drop down to the area below and go through the door. Yep. All right. Once you enter, run straight and drop down to the black fob. There is a crystal at the north end of this room that will light up and create two platforms. So drop down. Yep. Ugh. All right. Can I drop all the way down? Yep. Now what? Uh, throw that, I think. Oh yeah, deal with him if you can. That's a good idea, isn't it? I see that. Alright, go grab the ball, because it's actually where he is now. Because of slopes. Alright, catch it before it falls. There you go. Uh, I would worry about him, because he's about to try to come back, I think. Yeah, and all the enemies in general, anyway. Alright, so we want to claw shot up to that thing up above you. Uh, lower yourself down. We're going to get on that switch again. This? Yep. Oh, I missed it. Okay, deal with him. <laughs> You're right there. Okay. Alright. Just go wait for you to come back. Why using the arrows? I don't know why. Okay. I don't have reasons for what I do. I just do it. Okay. I just need a three left. Fine. <laughs> okay, come on. Give me All more right. time than that, you fucking piece of shit. I wonder if this one has less time or if there was just a glitch with the last one. I don't think the last one knew where I was at. Oh, you're probably right. Doesn't seem to be the brightest. Two, three. 
Okay, lower. Excellent. Now, once you get onto that next platform, you'll hook shot the thing back up to you where you're standing. Next platform? Yep, this thing you're on is going to float over to a platform. This over here? Yep. Alright, go. Well, I can't really go. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I, I I can't get it from here. Oh. Well, you have to move it or something. Uh, why? How? Oh. I, I, fuck! Do we need to pause? No, I just can't believe this fucking thing came all the way over here. You were right here and you were just fine. Mm. Okay, yeah. fine. Move again. It might be easier if you just throw it into the fog, you know. Why right. would I want to throw it into the fog? That way you can hookshot it easier, rather than, um... I guess. We'll do that. Well, that's not where you're supposed to go. You need to be easier! Oh, there's a thing. What thing? Yeah, stand by that thing. Uh, there should be one appearing on the right side, too. Yeah, there is. Stand on that. Watch out for him, because he wants to kill you. Stay on it. Oh. Well, I have to see where the hand is at. Above. Right above me. <laughs> yes, because that's exactly I what I I didn't know want. that was there. I thought it was this tiny little on the thing. It said there was a crystal switch to the north, and I was like, it means the south, probably. Hey, you got a heart out of it. But wait, why am I going Stand back to right this? There. Yeah. Just stay on it. That's going to take you to a treasure chest. Nope. You got off it. Okay, let's do it again. Yeah. Because... Yep. And let's take it to so you might get fogged. Oh no, it's moving back to you. Okay, that works. You're supposed to be stunned, right? Yeah, he is. Oh, there you go. That was very fortuitous. Pick it up. Okay. And stay on it. Ooh. You try to look to your right. Jump over there. There you go. That'll be a piece of heart. Yeah, stun him when he appears, because he's probably going to be mad. If he even appears, he might be confused as to where you are right now. Oh, he's not too confused, I guess, huh? Hey, we're doing this for a piece of heart. Yes. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Okay. Uh, but you do have to do that thing we did earlier, where you have to get that onto that platform that's up there. Okay. Well, let me so, try. So we do still have to do this. So I gotta go back to. Where am I going? To the, you're going to grab that. If I can, it's fucking... There. It's down and there. Go down with it. I have to stun him because he doesn't... Ooh. Stun for long. Nope. There you go. Now from here you might be able to just hook shot. Oh. Okay. So where am I going? We want to get up to that platform to where we can grab this thing. What thing? What thing am I grabbing? The thing that's in your hand. I'm, it's in my hand! I said you got to get up to the platform and then hookshot the thing. I don't know how else to explain it, except for okay, the fine. 20 times you've done it already. Because remember, we were trying to get up here, uh, and you happened, it happened to go all the way the wrong way. Remember? Maybe. I don't know what he was thinking. He couldn't grab it from there. Yeah, it might be easier to grab where it's at right now. You keep... Okay. Because you, you said when you were on that platform finally, I can't even reach the thing now because it's too close to the wall. Okay. He doesn't stay stunned for very long. No, he doesn't. And I... Well, that thing's still moving like an ass. Jeez. Uh, 
What a prick. What an utter prick. Oh, you want another, another way to do this? No, I don't think I'm fine right now. You might like this one easier. <laughs> yeah, stand on one of those, and you can actually platform across here. Go. Yeah, and then jump. Nope! <laughs> Doesn't work that way! Right, let's try this again. You. Alright. Yep. Aw. Fuck! <laughs> this one's gonna kill you, huh? Like, out of all the times, you wanna fucking jump. You don't jump. <laughs> Any other point is fucking stupid game, but you wanna <laughs> jump now. Alright. Oh, that's good. He doesn't grab you. He just grabs the thing. Oh, he didn't even grab it. He sucks. Well... How does it feel to be a failure hand? It's not where I wanna be. Well, now he's going to be unstunned. So i got to do it again. Yep, just about, yeah. Yeah, because there's no fucking time. Nope. Where is he at? He's below you. No. He was. I just saw him. Why? <laughs> Why is that a thing? Why? Oh, jeez. This is so brutal. <laughs> they just make this so crazy. They're like, oh yeah, the ball's already gone. You're about to transform. And you have ten seconds left. <laughs> right, okay. Jeez. Well, fuck it. He has, what, like a 10 second stun time, maybe? That's not that. 10 seconds. That's not 10 seconds. I don't even know where the... Why? Why? Alright. Two. Alright. Grab that. Turn around, call, rinse and repeat. <laughs> cool. I love doing this. I wanted to do this the whole <laughs> fucking episode. Do you want me to take over? No, I don't want you to take over. Okay. I think this might be worse than the uh, Helmosaurs. I think it just might be. Thank you, camera. I really love not knowing where my fucking enemy is. Okay, but these ones don't disappear at least. You got on a safe platform. Nice. Yeah, not a bad idea. Because he's just hanging out up there, isn't he? One. Two. Three. All right, now we can make the next jump, hopefully. Ah, uh, turned at the last minute. Ugh. <clears throat> so, uh, this, we're sitting in the sky. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> This is so unforgiving. It is crazy how unforgiving this level is. <laughs> Jeez. Ugh. Yeah. Nice. You can just keep going. You don't even have to worry about him. Fuck! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. 
He sounds bad. Oh, he sounds bad! Is that what you said? <laughs> he sounds bad! Fuck! Oh. <laughs> Light the fuck up! I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Oh. It's just, it's crazy how ridiculous this one room is. Just this one room. Nope, you took too much time. You took too much time. <laughs> now you gotta do it again. <laughs> too much time. Aim it, you fucking piece of shit. You fucking twink. <sighs> nice. Alright. Alright, we just gotta make two more jumps. Last one. Not ah! Oh no! <laughs> oh. Uh, there's not a platform on the switches, I guess. But you're, you're, you're gonna get it. So what's what do you do when that happens? Um, you'll reach a platform with two crystal switches. The soul will light them up. Oh, hello! I don't know, he was just right there on you. Uh, creating another moving platform. This will take you to the final door. Good to know. <sighs> I'm sorry. No, you're not. You wanted me to play this game. You wanted me to play this game. I didn't, like, when I was wanting you to play the game, I was thinking of this specific room in the game. And especially with how well you did on the first one, I'm like, you got this. This is no problem. This will be easy for you. Yeah, it's so fucking easy. I did, it's been ten years since I've played this game. I did well to remember there was the hand. Sorry, I don't mean to blame you or anything. Fuck! It's a bit crazy. So that's interesting. They actually try to make sound design to let you know when it's getting close. Alright, wait for the platform to appear. And just stay on it. You should be fine. No? Oh, yeah, he won't get you. Not in time. Now stay on until the very end. And then you'll jump. He won't catch you. Alright, go. And go through the door. And you made it! <laughs> Hopefully that's the last Zant's hand. <laughs> Ooh. Need a smoke after that? <laughs> Alright, that's our last dude. Uh, actually, before you get on that, do you need to... No, you're good. Alright. Hopefully that's the last thing, and I think it is. I skimmed ahead and I didn't see anything about it, but I skimmed. Alright, so now you get the item of the game. Or of the dungeon, I mean, not the game. Which is basically a sword upgrade. Great. Uh, so basically you have light in your sword. Which means you can cut through dark fog as a human light. And you can even kill the Xant heads with one hit. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Super cool. Yay. 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 All right, so now, because we still have a little bit of time, so we can do a little more. Um, you can go up to that up that north staircase and do stuff there. This dungeon is pretty damn linear, though. There's not much uh, to figure out, I guess. Oh, hello, birds. Oh, you just killed him in one hit now. You can cut it. Maybe use a uh, spin attack. Be my assumption. Yeet. And then go. Yeah, you did it. Progress. 
We're in the last leg of this dungeon. We should get the boss key and then fight the boss. We might be able to do one or two more rooms before we end this episode. Uh, and then we should be able to beat the dungeon in the next episode. I think a spin attack will knock out, or even just regular attacks will knock out all the fog. I'm not sure if it's permanent though. All of you need to die. It doesn't look permanent. Nicely done. So there are two more souls, but I don't think there's any fancy though. So there's that. Um, yeah, you gotta place those in holes that are in the fog. Oh, wait. That's weird. <laughs> it kind of glitched out on itself that time, didn't it? I suppose it did, yeah. That was kind of weird. Unless when you have the sword lit up, it literally doesn't... Uh... Okay, it does care a little bit. I think if you have the sword out, it won't turn you into a thing, though. I think. No, it still does. Okay. Good to know, though. So you still gotta cut it and then deal with that. Okay. It seems like it's a little bit more time than uh, the stunning of that damn hand, though. Nicely done. All right. Good job. All right, making progress. Ye. And I think you can light up that switch yourself now. With this new and improved weapon. Yep. And I have an elevator. Oh, I was, I was about to say, where are we supposed to go? <laughs> but I guess that makes sense now. Bitch. Oh, you blocked it. That was nice. Nice. Nope. Nope. That's pretty satisfying though, right? I think there's one more. Yep. Bitch. Oh, there's still more. Stupid. Oh, there's a heart. We needed that. Oh, is that going to be another key? Because that's kind of the code of the dungeon is beta. Mask, get a key. Guess we'll find out. You're over this, aren't you? Yeah. That one room just broke you. What did this do again? I think it made an elevator appear. I think you missed the other. Oh, you got them all. Oh, you got two of them. There it goes. So I'm assuming that takes us, yep, to the locked door. Watch out for that bat, though. He's going to try to knock you off, probably. Oh, you're good. All right, so I say we call that uh, an episode there. Uh, it's a pretty good time. Uh, next time we'll get the boss key and fight the boss. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time in the trash pile. Bye. Bye. <laughs>